Number solutions, page 6. Write these numbers correct to the nearest thousands. So, let's see. Uh, nearest thousands would be the 8 here, right? Because it's tenths, hundreds, thousands. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. And then we'll circle the number which is going to be thrown away, but we need to look at it before we throw it away to see if we're going to round the 8 up to a 9. Yes, we do, right? The 5 is enough to make the 8 round up to a 9. The 2 is not enough to round up, so we keep the 0. 7, 8, 1. We do keep, uh, we round the 0 up to 1. And the 8 will remain an 8, right? Do you see how we keep the zeros here even though the the last numbers are zeros? Because those zeros mean something. We determined that this zero was going to be zero and not a one. So that zero is very important, right? All right, calculate square root of 1.8 divided by 3.08 times 0 0.012 squared. Use your GDC. Okay, so use your graphical display calculator. And we're going to, uh, when you put this in your calculator, Look at this horizontal fraction line. That means that both the numerator and the denominator are in parentheses. And so you can go ahead, and that's a good habit to get into. If you don't want to think too much, uh, go ahead and always put your numerator and denominator in parentheses um, when you have a horizontal fraction line like that. So divided by, and then I'm going to put more parentheses, and I'm going to put 3.08 times 0 0.012 squared. And exponent comes before multiplication, so you don't need to have parentheses. But if you want to, put parentheses here too. 0 0.012 squared. In, in this case, you don't really have to have them because PEMDAS is going to work in your favor, but you have to be careful. Okay, so it gives us this uh, big number, and I'm going to write the whole thing out here because we're going to need uh, some of these digits. 0, 2, 4, uh, it's 3,000, 0, 2, 4, dot, 9, 8, 3, 7, 3, 6. And so first I'm going to look at, give your answer correct to one decimal place, so... I'm going to look at that 9, and the 8 next to it is going to round it up. So actually, it's going to be, the 9 is going to round up to a 0, but then uh, that will make the 4 go to a 5 also, right? It's like if I'm rounding 49 up, it's going to become 50, right? And the rest of it stays the same, 3,025.0. Now, two decimal places, I would keep the 8... I would keep this 8, and the 3 would not cause the 8 to round up, so it would just be 3,024.98. Three decimal places, I would keep that 3, and look at the 7 next to it. That would cause the 3 to round up, so it would be 3,024.984. The 3 would get rounded up to a 4. Nearest 100, so that would be, I would look at the 0 here, uh, and that would be the last digit I would keep. Is the 2 enough to round the 0 up to a 1? No, it's not. So it would be 3, 0, and then I would fill in the rest with just zeros. It's kind of hard to tell here that the that it was rounded to the nearest 100 because we kind of lose that information. That's only possible to show with scientific notation, which we'll show later. Nearest 1,000 would be the 3. The next number, the next digit is a 0. That's not enough to round the 3 up to a 4, so it would be 3,000. Okay, and the last significant digit here actually is the 3. We can't tell, though, okay? All right, number 5. Given that p equals 3.15 and q equals 0 0.8, find the value of this expression, giving your answer correct to, and they give us a bunch of uh, different possibilities. And remember, if you want to make sure that all the uh, PEMDAS is being done in the right order. Whenever you have a fraction horizontal line, you want to put the numerator and the denominator in parentheses. So let's put this in the calculator now. We're going to have 3.14, 3.15 plus 0.8, and we're going to cube the whole thing. So we're going to have 3.15, and we're going to add it to 0.8, 
and then we're going to cube it, and then, and then, uh, and then I'm going to divide the numerator by the denominator. In the denominator, I'm also going to put parentheses around it, and I'm going to have p plus q. It's going to be 3.15 plus 0.18. And then we're going to do enter, and then so we're going to have an expression 15.6025. 15.6025. And then, uh, let's see, give your correct, give your answer correct to two decimal places, 60. Um, 15.60. Give you, give your answer correct to 15.60. Okay, so we're going to put 15. Point uh, six zero, and then do we want to round the zero up to a one? No, because the next number is just two. What about three decimal places? Then we're going to put fifteen point six zero two or three. We're going to round the two up to three. Yeah, because if we look at the next number, which is a five, then that's enough to mold, to uh, round the um, the two up to a three. So we're going to put zero three. Nearest unit. So the nearest unit would be the five. So would we round the, we were, would we round the 15 up to a 16? Yeah, because look at the next number, it's a 6. So we're gonna multiply, we're gonna round it up to a 16. Nearest 10. So nearest 10 is that one. So are we gonna round the 1 up to a 2? Yeah, if we look at the next number, it's a 5. So we would round it up to a 20. Write down a number that correct to two decimal places is 2.37. Okay, so like for example, 2.374, right? If we said, take 3.7 through 2.374 and uh, write it correct to two decimal places, we would look at the 7 and just look at the 4 to make sure that we don't need to round the 7 up to an 8. Write down a number that correct to one decimal place is 4.1. Okay, what about 4.05? If we have 4.05, we'll say, okay, I'm looking at the 0. Is the 5 enough to round the 0 to a 1? And yes, it is, so then it would become 4.1. So like for this one, any number between like uh, uh, 4.05 all the way up to uh, 4.14999 repeating is going to be um, uh, correct to one decimal place 4.1. And for this one, for example, it's going to be any number between 2.365 to 2.3749 repeating. Any number between those two is fine. Okay. So now we're going to talk about significant figures. And basically, significant figures are... Uh, significant figures are... Uh, numbers that have meaning, and so they're numbers that are measured. So, obviously, any number that is not zero is a measured number. Otherwise, why wouldn't it be zero, right? So, like, any number one through nine is going to be a significant figure. The question is for zeros. How do you judge whether zeros are measured or if they're just, like, filling up space, okay? And uh, so there's a few rules here that you can use to um, follow, or you can just think about it, okay? So what we just said was all ones through nines are significant, so all non-zero digits are significant. Zeros between non-zeros are significant. So if you have like 1,009, these zeros have been measured because this has been measured and this has been measured, so obviously you measure everything in between these two also. Zero to the left of the first non-zero significant, uh, the first non-zero digit are not significant. If you ever have a zero uh, to the left, these are not significant. They're just placeholders. They keep the number in the right place, maybe, especially if there's like a decimal point out here. Although they are important to keep the number um, pushed to the right, they don't have meaning because they're not measured. Okay. Zero is placed after uh, other digits, but to the right of the decimal point are significant. Okay. So that means if you have um, a zero here, like, look at these zeros here. Are these significant? Well, these are obviously not to, to place, to push the number away from the decimal point. This one is, okay? So it's not significant because all it's doing is pushing the 3 away from the decimal point. 
So why are these here? Well, the only reason why these zeros might be here is if they were actually measured. Just like when we did our investigation and we measured, uh, we measured to a certain degree of precision and sometimes the measurement was that it was zero, right? Okay, so this might be kind of hard to understand, but let's do a few examples. It'll help. Write the number of significant figures of each of these numbers. Okay, so, uh, the one is significant, the six is significant. Remember that anything between the non-zero digits, zeros between non-digit zeros are significant. So there's three significant figures here. What about 200? Well, we know that the two is significant because non-zero digits are significant, but the zeros between, um, the decimal point and the two, um, not significant. Okay, D um, let's see. Uh, zero to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. Zero is between non-zero digits, are blah, 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 blah. Zero is placed after other digits. Zero is placed after other digits, but to the right of the decimal point are significant. But to the left of the decimal point, you can't really tell, but in this case, we'll say they are not. Okay, and we'll, we'll go into that later. What about here? So, this zero is meaningless. This zero is only here for place holding, so it's pushing the two to the right. Uh, zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant, okay? Uh, so the only significant figure is the two, so one significant figure. Okay, the one, two, and nine are significant. What about the zero? Well, all it's doing is pushing the one, two, nine away from the decimal point, so it's also not significant. What about 12, 0, 9? Okay, the 1, 2, and the 9 are significant. The 0 is significant because it's between digits that are significant. So this would be 4. Uh, write these numbers correct to one significant figure. So basically what you're going to do here is you're going to choose the first significant figure, and you're going to keep that, and maybe you're going to round it up. Okay, so like, for example, 280, that's going to become 300 because the 8 is going to round it up. 0 0.072, you're going to keep the 7, so it's just going to be 0 0.07. Uh, 390.8, the 9 is going to round the 3 up to a 4, and so you're going to have 400. Uh, 0 0.00132, you're going to keep the 1, or you're going to round it up to 2. Well, if you look at the 3, it means you're not going to round it up, so it's just going to be 0 0.001.